WikiLeaks and then after Snowden and then after these new organizations, investigative journalism is pretty much in fashion again. You've established the first investigative journalism agency in Brazil. Do you feel somehow that you might have pushed the boundaries of, of public information a bit in Brazil? We did push the boundaries first of what is good journalism. We proved that good journalism can be done by a completely independent organization because we are not affiliated with anybody mm -hmm. big. And second, that journalists can run it uh, so after Publica, especially in the last year and a half, many journalists have left the mainstream media to start their own projects. So it's very exciting to be part of it. How did you get Publica to be financially stable? We manage the funds through international uh, uh, foundations. And now, uh, since three years ago, we started doing crowdfunding. So we crowdfund for our main investigations, which are the ones we really want to do. And we have specific projects. So, for instance, if, we're, if we want to do a project about the banking system, then we have people who are interested in that issue who are willing to, to fund. But in all of our projects, we have like a clause that says that they do, cannot have any interference or see the project, see the, the, the journal before it's published. And it's been a very interesting uh, run. Every month, we put up three stories that we want to pursue. And the, they, these people vote and the most voted gets done. While we are doing it, our journalists are in a closed group discussing, discussing with the donors. So all we give is a feedback, and these people who have donated, they're occupying our newsroom, and they are in much closer connection to us. So. Sounds great. You mentioned on your website that there is no such thing as a crisis. There is no crisis in journalism, but actually a renewal, a reform. Uh, which role does Publica play, play in, this, in this reform, in this renewal? First, we have inspired many people to come after us. Second, we actually, like, Publica is an NGO. As a mission, we have two, we have a two-fold mission. The first one is to produce investigative independent journalism. The other one is to promote and strengthen. So, we have actually incubated other organizations. We provide a lot of support when we have the time, of course. And we have, we give away uh, scholarships for independent journalists to carry out their investigation. Next week, we're going to uh, open a house, which is called Casa Publica. It's a space that will provide the political support that these journalists need, because meanwhile, the mainstream media doesn't recognize that there is this new generation going on. We are going to stick together, and we are going to become, in 10 years, 20 years, the predominant journalism force in Brazil. And do you feel like there are more people, more and more new, more fresh journalists? I graduated 15 years ago. There weren't many journalists because there was nobody you could look at. And I think nowadays after WikiLeaks and then after Snowden and then after these new organizations, investigative journalism is pretty much in fashion again. So I think more and more people are engaged and Absolutely. want to become this type of journalist. And I think it is Publica's role to try and influence this new arena, to try and open up this new arena so that these people have working fields, have opportunities, and this is a field that will be solidified. Journalists often are on the side of the fanatical protection of copyright, which is absurd because the duty of artists and, and journalists is to spread the information as much as, as possible.